Good morning and welcome to this month's workshop. And we are focusing on music, Montenegro and the metaverse. So um, over the last few months, as we've been um, doing a, a couple of live experiments with these workshops and um, kind of learning in public is the name of what we're doing. Um, we like to just uh, kind of show what's what's under the hood and different um, pieces of ed tech, um, different expertises and um, different educational experiences and possibilities. And we are so excited um, to uh, have you here today. Um, and uh, my name is Dan Roeder. I'm from the David Z Foundation, where we transform lives from the, uh, with the magic of music. And I want to kick it over to Donna to introduce herself, and then we'll get started. Great. Thanks, Dan. Uh, my name is Donna Garrett. I'm the founder of Global Lighthouse Studios, and I'm super excited today for our workshop because um, the metaverse is uh, new to me, as it is to so many educators around the world. And so um, we are going to, um, as Daniel always says, uh, we are going to learn with you uh, in public uh, because we like to model resilience uh, for students. And so um, I'm excited to get started and I'm gonna kick it over to uh, Daniel to get us going. Yeah, so um, for anybody that is listening uh, on, on the replay or on um, social media live, we would like to invite you to join the, this Nearpod with us. Um, and so what you can do is you can go to join.nearpod.com and then type in that five digit code. And there's a couple of interactive things in the slide deck. This um, presentation in particular, I think you're gonna wanna join um, because you'll actually be able to join us in the metaverse um, for our first segment, where we're just gonna go through setting up and how we get started. Um, and uh, so just take a moment to um, join this Nearpod. I'm gonna leave it up here um, so you can uh, see see where you need to go, join.nearpod.com, and you can type in that five-digit code. And I'm actually going to bring up our special guest, Mitch Jackson. Um, and uh, so welcome to the stage, Mitch. We're so excited to have you with us. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and um, and your relationship with the metaverse? Well, it's good to be here, Dan, and thanks for having me. So I am a California trial lawyer, and I enjoy helping our clients and family and friends in the Web3 and Metaverse spaces. I've been doing this for about three decades, 36 years, and it's really exciting to talk to our clients about the intellectual property and other legal issues that are probably 10x anything I've ever seen in my life with Web3 and the Metaverse when it comes to doing business and being a lawyer. And I'm excited to be here today. This is such an important conversation. I love how you're you're basically bringing the world together with this particular product and uh, you know the Restream product. And I'm excited to be, to be here to do live Q&A and share whatever you'd like me to share. Absolutely. And we've got a, a few more guests in studio. Um, we've got um, Valentina and Ivana, who I'm gonna bring up next. Um, so welcome to the stage, and um, they're representing um, a school in Montenegro. Um, and uh, one of the things that we really wanted to start doing with these workshops is, is feature one school um, somewhere in the world where we can learn together and learn from each other. Um, so um, Valentina, I want to kick it over to you. Can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your school and then over to Ivana? Yeah, uh, my name is Valentina Tajic. I'm a high school teacher. I'm teaching all subjects relating to tourism and a high school in, in uh, Montenegro in Cetin. It's a small town. Uh, and uh, I'm, I've been doing that job for 18 years. And yes, this metaverse is uh, something new, at something uh, different for, for uh, what we had before or, or different of style. Uh, we were learning, so I'm really uh, happy to, to to learn something new, to, to see how things are going uh, in, uh, in in world regarding this, this metaverse. You know, when we were students, we were just, you know, uh, blackboard, chalk, and book, mm -hmm. and that, that is it. Now kids are have kids have uh, more opportunities, they have 
uh, different way of, of learning. And I think this is good. Metaverse is something good. It's bringing uh, a new type of learning in their lives. So it, it, it's very interesting. I'm very sad because not all kids can, can join. They have some problems with some issues with, with phones. I'm very happy that Ivona is here. She is one of the best students. So, uh, no pressure, Ivana. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's a little bit shy, but it's okay. Whatever yeah. she sees here, she will uh, she will transfer to uh, her friends. So, you know, there will always be about 20, 20 kids on our meetings, Donna. You know that. Always are like full classes, you know, now. Yes. 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 Yes, your class is, is always so wonderful. And um, and what's great about this is that they can watch, you can replay the restream uh, in your classroom tomorrow um, so they can watch it uh, as well. So that, okay. Always... So we will have, you are recording this? Yeah, yes. we're recording it. They can oh, also so right now. You, they can... you will send me. Okay, that's yes. That's, yep. Yes. That's, yeah, yes. and yes. Um, they can also look yes, on um, Donna's social media, Global Lighthouse Studios, or our ours um, on David Z Foundation. Um, it's on my personal. It's on Donna's personal. So we, we can yes. share it around as well. Yes, um, yes. So they can actually watch live. And anybody watching on social, um, just one more time, if you're just tuning in. You can join us in the Nearpod. You'll also be able to join us in the spatial.io room, um, at least seeing what it looks like. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so you can go to join.nearpod.com and join us in the slide deck. And that's mm -hmm. that's going to be kind of the, the key to getting into the spatial. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, and then I have one more guest that I want to introduce. Um, hopefully she's OK with me pulling her up on camera. <laughs> and that's Layla Fisher. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask her ahead of time. So this is one of those learning in public moments. Uh, Layla, welcome to the stage. <laughs> We've got the L. <laughs> oh, Hi, Layla. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just tell us a little bit about yourself? And um, you are also um, a, a Web3 and NFT aficionado and in the film industry, right? So can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Oh, you're muted. Layla, you're muted, hon. I'm a Web3 enthusiast. I love making movies and telling stories. And I've been helping where I can with the Global Lighthouse Studio that Donna runs. Awesome. Well, so glad that we're all on this adventure together across the world. Layla's, uh, Layla, where are you coming from? I never know. It's kind of like, where in the world is Layla? Are you are you in Belgium <laughs> right now or are you in? No, I'm in, I'm in the south of France, in Nice. Of France. Okay, perfect. Wow. So we've got a worldwide panel up here. Yeah. Uh, so let's dive in. I'm so excited. Um, this is just an, uh, for, for the, any teachers watching, this is a really um, kind of a high tech version of what you could do low tech in your classroom for an SEL check in. So if you're in the Nearpod and I'm not actually entirely sure who is, well, we're not going to dwell here for very long, but just um, it, a kind of a check in at the beginning of any class that you can do is just anonymously, how are you feeling? And so in Nearpod, you can actually use this um, activity called Draw It. And this is how I'm feeling. Actually, I'm going to change that. <laughs> this is how I'm feeling <laughs> because I love the metaverse and I love um, connecting with, with people in the world. And we're doing both right now. Um, so uh, what's cool about Nearpod is I, I can have it in uh, anonymous mode um, so that we're not seeing student names. And just anybody who would be in the Nearpod, I can kind of see a dashboard and I could broadcast it to the class and just say, hey, here's how we're feeling right now. Just be aware. Um, and we don't know who's feeling how, but um, we can just know that going into our work together. Um, so we already kind of introduced everybody, but um, Mitch, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you're doing with Maneuver? And because um, that's uh, one of the um, sure one, one of your initiatives. You have so many. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a full time trial lawyer and I love what I'm doing. But because we're broadcasting to a classroom or to a group of students, my son was finishing his last year uh, of university at the University of Southern California. 
And so earlier this year, we started this consulting agency together and it was fun, both showing him as a student, the business side of actually doing a startup with working together with my son. I think, I think Dan, I've spoken more with Garrett over the last eight months than I have over the last four years at university, right? So that was the good part. But what we're doing is we're helping traditional companies, even traditional schools and classrooms, transition into the metaverse, offering a metaverse uh, component to what they're doing to their products and services. So that's what Maneuver is all about. It's about keeping the metaverse as simple as possible so that as many people as possible can enjoy all the new bells and whistles, all the new ways we can connect around the world where it does actually feel like we're standing in the same room. And that's the part of the communication and relationship building process that has me so intrigued with this technology. Mm -hmm. That's that. Yeah, that's a really good launch into um, exploring the technology. So just to, to center our time together, um, a couple essential questions um, where I'd like to start with is what does the metaverse look like? <laughs> um, because this is where I was uh, for just four months ago. Um, you know, what is what is this metaverse people are talking about? And then more specifically, um, what are some benefits of schools being able to connect there? Um, but then with this new technology, how can we balance virtual and in real life or um, the term IRL that I've learned? <laughs> and um, then what are some specific considerations for cyber and academic safety in the metaverse? Because, you know, you, you open a new can of worms. Um, you got to just be aware of how can we keep this a safe place? How can we maintain um, academic safety and um, make sure that that it, it, it becomes a place that we can continue to connect in safe ways? And then um, how can we model and practice digital citizenship in the metaverse? So lots and lots to talk about. I'm going to do a little screen sharing swap. Um, so we're actually going to if you're in the near pod, um, I'll advance the slide. Um, I'm going to share my my other screen where I'm actually already in the metaverse. <clears throat> um, and we've got the Nearpod broadcasting on the screen. Um, so we just kind of want to go through a little bit of how to get started. Um, so uh, I'm also going to, uh, Donna, actually, could you put the link to the spatial? Um, can you refresh that in our private chat? And sure. uh, so anybody here, if you would like to join us um, in the metaverse, uh, but this is this is what it looks like. Um, so uh, we're using a platform called Spatial.io, uh, which Mitch is very, very familiar <laughs> with. Um, and, and I was just blown away by all of the, the assets and resources that you've created there. Um, but this is um, just a, a, one of the free spaces. Uh, and Mitch is here, yay. <laughs> uh, so this is just an auditorium where, it, see, there's Mitch. And uh, now I can actually get up and move around. Mitch is waving. Um, oh, number one is clap, right? Oh, we can dance. <laughs> um, and so as a teacher, this is one very simple space. Um, it, I think it takes all of three minutes to walk through um, the login process. Uh, oh, let me advance the Nearpod so that you can have access to this space. Um, so uh, Layla and, and Valentina, uh, I think Ivana dropped off, but um, so you guys can uh, just go through the prompts and it, it just asks you um, for your name and then you can start creating an avatar and within just a few minutes, um, you can be in this space. Uh, so, oops, sorry. How, how did you get in? <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, if you want to go to spatial.io, so S P A T I A L dot I O, and you need to yes. create a login. So you need to uh -huh, create okay. a, a person. Okay, okay, okay. That that that's something I can I can try. Yeah, okay. and, and yeah. you can even try it okay, live. Okay. I, just, I just just want to see how it, how it works. So after once you send me. Uh, these recorded that I, I will try all things that's great yeah so um this is this is just a, a free auditorium space where um for teachers you can present on the screen 
and um, you can actually be um, interacting in the space. So Mitch, um, I, I want to kind of kick it over to you. And um, can sure. you just talk to us about your experience with Spatial.io and, and um, you know, what are, some, what are some of those benefits for um, educators, for um, other professionals? So. Absolutely. Absolutely. And while, while I'm sharing, I don't want anybody in the chat to feel like I'm ignoring them. I see some public chat in the show and I, I can't figure out how to chat back. So I apologize. And Dan, if you can scroll, if you can do a 360, you can show everybody what the full room looks like. And if, if you're on your desktop or laptop, you can use your Q, I believe your uh, Q and E key. Oh, there we go. Scroll. See, and you I'm, can just I'm do a full 360. Yeah, there just keep go. scrolling and do a full 360, and everyone can see where your there's audience. Donna. Can, oh, this is Donna. Hi, Donna. Yes. There's, there's Donna, and I threw on. I changed. Okay. I threw on my Christmas sweater, my holiday sweater, oh, nice. everybody, uh, because I'm ready for the winter. And <laughs> um, what's really unique about spatial? One of the reasons that we gravitated towards spatial. There are several reasons, but number one is it's built around community. It's built around. Not only do you have different metaverse spaces, this particular space costs nothing at all. Any student can set this space up within Spatial for free. And so it allows you to create beautiful spaces that you can share photographs, you can live stream uh, videos from YouTube or other channels, anything on your desktop you can stream to your audience. You can access these spaces not only from your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your desktop, but also with a headset. And when you put a, an Oculus Quest 2 headset on, for example, or any compatible, compatible headset, it feels like you're in the same room with someone. It literally feels like we're standing next to each other. So for all of those reasons, that's why we're so excited about the metaverse and metaverse spaces is allows us to connect with people from around the world. And here's another element, Dan, that I think is really powerful that a lot of people aren't utilizing yet is with the pro plan, which is $20 a month, something like that, $25 a month, you can have live caption translations so that while you and I are communicating, right. floating, above, floating above our head yeah. is the translation uh, uh, from one language to another. So I believe spatial allows us to communicate <laughs> with 75 different, you know, popular languages around the world. And we can have real time conversations with the real time captions. So there's a lot of unique benefits that all revolve around communication and building relationships and ease of use that brought us to and is keeping me on the spatial platform. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, that just talking about the translations that gave me full body goosebumps. Um, I'm Good. a special education teacher. I can see them. I can see them. On <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, right. <laughs> um, and uh, just th that's that's very often one of the limiting factors um, for all um, education, especially global education, is the communication um, and being able to you know just share the same space. There's so many visuals, and visuals are communication. Um, whether whether we're talking about special education or um, second language learning, um, but uh, that's such an exciting benefit. I didn't know about the translation, so you can actually talk with other classrooms um, and have you know very uh, um, robust conversation because of that feature. That's that's great. Um, one thing to highlight too, I know one of the things we wanted to talk about was the the um, academic safety and cyber safety. Um, so some of the security features um, is, is that th this is very this is very much um, I have the space set up invite only. So you have to have the link to get into it. Um, and there's also ways I believe you can lock the room with a password, right, Mitch? Yes, I, it, this is similar to a Zoom. So just like you would send a link, whether it's a public Zoom or a private Zoom link with a password, you can do the same thing in spatial. And you can lock it down also using non-fungible tokens, using NFT. So you can tokenize these spaces. And so only somebody with a ticket, with an NFT, for example, every student in a classroom may be assigned at the beginning of the year with an NFT for free. And they'll need that NFT in order to access a particular lockdown 
space here in the spatial platform. So there's lots of different ways to protect what happens within these classrooms or within these spatial spaces. Yeah, no, that's, that's amazing. Um, so, uh, any questions so far from, from anybody? Um, I have a question, um, even though I'm part of the uh, <laughs> board here, I, I'm, I'm putting on my Facebook, um, uh, the link to the room um, just so that people can join us. I saw uh, Winnie was with us there for just a minute. I did wave, um, but I'm yeah. not aware of Winnie went. I saw Winnie um, come so, in. Yeah. Yes, so I, um, I'm just gonna put the link um, for those of you who are watching the live stream <clears throat> on my uh, page so that if you are able to set up your uh, person inside Spatial and you'd like to join us in the room, we'd love to have you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that link there. Yeah, and um, just while, while people are populating, um, one thing you can see on the screen right here, it says go live. I, I'm not going to hit that button <laughs> because what that, that does is that um, just opens it up to the entire world that is searchable within Spatial. There's sometimes you might wanna do that, but I think in a school setting, um, we typically would, would not wanna do that. Um, you know, but but sharing within our controlled networks, that's one thing. But if you say go live, it means anybody now has access to the room. Um, just, you know, they can search auditorium and all of the auditorium spaces will pop up and they could just pop in there. So um, I'm sure you can see how that might might be problematic <laughs> in a school <laughs> setting. Um, so, um, yeah, any other questions while we're kind of waiting for, for people to maybe join us? You can also, you know, you can also, Dan, you can record these rooms. So you can take a, a photo of everyone in the room if you'd like. You can record these rooms, which is what we're doing. And then we're using the recording uh, and taking that content and repurposing it across the traditional Web2 platforms. You know, the only limit to the metaverse is our imagination. And that's what I like about this. That's so awesome. that's another feature that Spatial offers. So can we try taking a picture? Absolutely. Uh, so uh, one thing I had, one question I had that I was, I, when Donna and I were practicing earlier this week, <laughs> it was frustrating me to no end. How do I like turn my face? Cause I, I'm always facing away from the, the camera. Like, right. So the secret to the secret to recording, like you'll see my recordings on web two where I'm doing interviews and things like this. Yeah. And what we do is we bring in a second avatar. We open up another window and bring oh. in a second avatar and then use that avatar as our camera person. And that avatar is what's recording. We're recording through that instance. That's a really cool idea. Right. So yeah. you can you can set up and bring in for free, you know, one or two different avatars, just like you would in a movie studio or a television studio. And you can shoot different video angles. So what you might want to do, Dan, is uh, click your uh, toolbar because you're the host and I'm not. And you can bring up objects, 3D objects, uh, whether it's a mirror. So you can see how you look in the mirror. You can bring up an object. And what I like about this is when we're in these spaces, we'll meet with an expert. I'm in California on the West Coast of the United States. And instead of me back in the day, having to fly an expert out from, from the East Coast to examine a defective product, We'll go ahead and scan and bring that defective product into the space, meet with the expert in the metaverse, and you can literally hand this product back and forth in 3D. The expert can rotate it upside down and show you exactly where the defect is. So it allows for very detailed interactions from any place you know, that the participants are located around the world. Okay, um, so I found one feature. That's, that's amazing. Um, that you can, uh, with you know, import these digital assets. Um, let's see. I just found the sticky note feature. <laughs> right, so right. I made a sticky note, and my sticky note says, "Ask Mitch about the control, the host controls." I don't know where those are. <laughs> so, so <laughs> if you click the three dots, are you on a laptop or desktop? I'm on a, a uh, yeah, a laptop. The so three dots it. at the at the bottom of your screen, and okay. you should see host. Oh, uh, host tools. Oh, 
Oh, wow. And when you okay. drop down, you can make me a co-host, which would then allow me to bring up some of the things that we talked about. Gotcha. Okay. But I would, that's, that looks like it's the spatial plus, right? Um, which I, I, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Um, but still cool. I mean, I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to be <laughs> upgrading to, to the, the, the paid version, um, just cause there are so many possibilities. Um, Absolutely. It's, it's, I think what I'm noticing, just having, having dived headfirst into the metaverse over the last year, year and a half, is what I'm noticing is everyone should think about this as simply being another welcome mat, a digital welcome mat to who they are and what they do. So if clients want to meet with us over the phone or in our office, that's great. If a client wants to jump into our virtual office space and we have um, you know, dozens of different spaces here in Spatial, Dan, whether it's just traditional conference room, you know, I can always share my screen, uh, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, a penthouse suite, a yacht, uh, an oceanfront home, we have all types of different uh, venues that we can bring clients in. So depending on the type of client that we're meeting with, that dictates normally which venue we'll go ahead and meet and share a link with to meet with the client. We want to connect right away with the client. Right. And, and so that's a really good segue into my next question, which um, is, can we try a portal? Yes, we can. I, I know how to create a portal. So I can create it from a link. So I will uh, message you a link. Perfect. Right. Is that what we want to do? That's what I, yeah. Let's, let's should, we go, should we go, should we go into our, uh, should we go into the ski chalet since it's winter here in the let's United States? It. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to copy my link. I'm going to share the link in the private chat. Perfect. Should I stay here in case some people join us? Um, Cause well, I just, the, the uh, portal will be here. Um, so okay. they can follow us through. Okay. Um, oh, and actually let me, let me grab my, um, blood. I'll be right back. <laughs> I need to grab my blood. <laughs> you know what's interesting? While Dan's doing that, one of the things that we found is this is really allowing us to um, build new relationships with other people all around the world because it's unique and it's different. And frankly, not that many lawyers are actively using the different metaverse spaces. And the spaces we use, the graphics look real. The graphics are amazing. The, everything just works. The audio is good. The video is good. Um, and what I like to do is really focus with how to use <clears throat> your avatar to communicate. For example, you see me moving around. And when you're in the metaverse, you want to go ahead and move your avatar around a little bit. You want to make sure you're facing the people that you're talking to instead of me with my back right now to everybody. I can continue and turn around and face everyone. We're using our voice inflection and metaphors and storytelling to communicate since a lot of this is audio. And Dan has just set up a portal. <laughs> and Dan, That's why don't you so explain cool. what, a, what a portal is and uh, how it works? Well, this is a good thing that we do in education, a check for understanding. So I'm going to try to explain what a portal is, but <laughs> Mitch, please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> So a portal is essentially a way that you can connect your different assets, your different spaces. Um, so I've never actually done one before to a place that I didn't own. So I, I've connected spaces myself. Um, but what's cool is that this is a way that you can, as a school network, um, create portals maybe to different classrooms. Exactly. So um, something that Donna and I have been kicking around is with Donna's NGO, um, Global Lighthouse Studios, she kind of looks at all of the arts across the world in different subjects. And so David Z Foundation is very specifically music. Um, so we could kind of create a portal to her metaverse, and then she could create a portal to ours, and then it's connecting music with all the arts. So that's one idea that we have. So uh, should we go on a, on a tour? <laughs> I think we should. And all all everyone needs to do is to just tap on the portal and then you'll travel to the next metaverse venue, which happens to be a ski chalet. 
And so after we're meeting with clients in a traditional legal conference room, if I'm meeting with a client that loves to snow ski, I'll say something like, listen, just for fun, would you like to stop by our ski chalet? And they'll look at me through their avatar's eyes with surprise. And they're like, sure, we'd love to. So that's what this is. Let's go ahead and click on it. All right. I'm, I'm traveling. Well, wow, that's super easy. I, I, I love how it's, <laughs> you know, it's pretty seamless. And so, and so, just so um, our audience understands, if they go to the original room that we were just in, uh, will that bubble be there in case they get there yes. first, and then they can travel? That's awesome. Okay. It should be. It should be. And so, for example, in the ski chalet, you're going to see in the corner of the room five or six different portals that we've set up. So from here, you can go to. The French Riviera, you can travel over to our campus, which is our, our large office space. You can set portals up any way you like. And to look around, you simply rotate your avatar. I use the Q, W, and E keys on my keyboard and then my arrows. We've oh, you've got, got music. backup music. In We've yours. got backup music playing. We have a downstairs movie theater where if you walk over here, You can actually downstairs. You'll see a uh, movie theater oh, yeah. where we can share uh, client videos, how-to videos, instructional videos. Right now, I've just got some skiing videos up. Uh, how do I how do I get to you, Mitch? <laughs> okay, so what you do? I'm back out here. Oh, there's Mitch. Mitch. You simply use your keyboard to rotate your avatar using the Q or E key, and then you can use your arrow to move forward or backwards. If we have any gamers in the, in the group, uh, they'll not be familiar okay. with the, the other thing you can do is simply tap on the floor with your mouse or your finger on a phone to oh, move around go. the room. <clears throat> so if you tap over to where I'm standing right here, Okay. There you go. And so <clears throat> if you're on your phone, if you tap with your finger, that'll move you to where you want to go. Or you can click with your mouse as to where you want to go. And it just takes a little bit of practice. I'd say it takes about 20 minutes to figure out. You'll notice that there's stairs that go up to the second level. If you go up the stairs to the second level, Oh boy, I got stuck in the stairs. Oh, okay. No, keep going up. Because I got this stuck is in my... rock for like yes. 10 minutes the other day. Yes, <laughs> as da Daniel and I, uh, um, I have, um, it's a work in progress. Let's put it that way. So uh, don't don't be uh, don't be afraid, anyone out there, to try this because uh, I've gotten stuck on stairs. I've gotten lost in couches. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's uh, you know it's definitely a, a learning curve, and so uh, but it's super yeah. fun. But there's, that, that also just reminds me of, of one social convention that it's, I think right now at this point, as people are um, getting used to the metaverse, um, give them a little bit of grace. I was actually in a session that um, there was a plastic surgeon that was presenting from like a movie theater stage. And I, I was in the room and then all of a sudden I accidentally hit the the um, button that had me like go on stage and I was like jumping up and down on the stage <laughs> and uh, I was like I I don't do this in real life I swear <laughs> <laughs> that was Dr. Dr. Adam Schneider who is a, a world-renowned facial plastic surgeon who's a client of ours and so we helped him build out his spaces and then what he did was he shared several presentations from within one of the spaces using the big screen using uh, clips from videos where he had been interviewed on some major television shows. And so it was just a unique experience uh, for he and his patients, you know, as far as um, offering something unique that other plastic surgeons don't do. He also set up a gallery with before and after pictures. We've set up a gallery where people can walk through and instead of looking at art, they look at our favorite 47 negotiation tips on how to negotiate a contract or negotiate a deal. 
And so you can use these, these spaces, you know, any way you want. I'm going to go a little bit closer to the fireplace because I'm a little bit cold. So hang on yeah. a second. Well, I'm, I'm going to go look at the view. And, oh, I just walked on the image of the table. Don't, don't walk over the edge there, Daniel. <laughs> we encourage that. I think everyone needs to stand on the furniture. <laughs> and there's so, even like a gondola. Oh, my goodness. Look at this view. Yeah, it's so, a gorgeous view. Valentina, could you imagine creating a metaverse that is, um, you know, being able to explore Montenegro? Uh, yes, yes, it, it would be good to uh, to do something to to uh, make like uh, Montenegro more uh, attractive to to people uh, from. Uh, outside of Balkans, actually, people usually uh, don't know much about about Montenegro. Montenegro is a very, very beautiful country, and this could be a very good way to promote Montenegro, really. Yeah. No, that's great. And mm -hmm. then, you know, you, you could be on the, the cutting edge of education, <laughs> creating, you know, a, a, um, a, a classroom. Um, that brings people to Montenegro. And yes, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm thinking how we can we can use it in in uh, my everyday school everyday school day. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm Dan, wondering, yeah, Dan, if, if you use if you, your if mouse, if you have any suggestions, please, 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 please tell absolutely. Me. I was going to say, if Dan moves his mouse so that he's closer go. to his avatar, it'll just shoot through your avatar's eyes. And you oh, won't block wow. the shot. So you okay. roll your finger on the top of the mouse to move in and out. And uh, that's how you either have the camera behind you, over your shoulder. Oh there goodness. you go. Oh, and so, yeah. so when you're doing a video or having a conversation, that's what we do. Okay. Um, you know what's interesting is in a classroom or conference room environment, I think for, for the teachers, what you can do is there are a couple of host features where you can click a button and everybody sits down. Okay. So you've, you're able to put everybody in their seats. You're able to click another button and mute everyone while you're speaking. Oh, uh, and so That's there are perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> and, and what you're going to, what you're going to find is when, when we host, uh, you know, small and large events, people walk around, they're curious, how does this work? And so they're walking around the space and testing out all the different bells and whistles. But when it's time to present, you can click a button. The next thing you know, everybody's sitting down, they're muted, and you've got their full attention, whether they want you to have their full attention or not. So I think from a presentation uh, perspective, these platforms offer different tools to allow you to give the best presentation possible. Yeah. yeah, but uh, Valentina, I was thinking too, like, I mean, especially with um, the, the high school that you teach at, I mean, what a great way to be able to give people, like you said, a, 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 you know, a quick snapshot of the beauty of Montenegro and, uh, you know, bring people, let them travel there virtually first, and then they'll be so intrigued, they'll yes. want to come visit, you know. Well, I think a, a very easy next step um, to do that is to use one of the, uh, there's a free gallery space where you can add, um, you can just upload pictures and um, that might be a good starting point, um, it, you know, because I would imagine pulling together all the assets to create something like the ski chalet would take a long time. And I know Mitch, you've been working a long time on your, um, the, the, the uh, campus. Um, so I, I think uh, the art, like an art gallery space is where you can simply um, start that space, upload files from your computer that are, are images, and then you can show people around. Um, and you can, that actually could be like a gallery walk um, for an assignment. Like if you have students do um, something that, uh, you know, that you want to, them to showcase their work, but not necessarily present, um, you could just have them all choose uh, a, a, pl a place on the wall as their gallery, and then um, students can all do a gallery walk. I just sent you a link, Dan, in the private chat of a gallery okay. where where I shared some photos of where I like to run and paddleboard uh, in my you know my area where I live. 
but it will give everybody an idea of how a gallery works. And the spaces we're in only took a couple of minutes to set up everyone. This what? did not take a lot of time. Yeah. So, so they're either full turnkey where they come with spatial or you can purchase private spaces where you just connect the NFT to spatial and you're good to go. These did not take a lot of time at all. Where did I go? <laughs> so Mitch, can you put that link like you did with the ski show? So oh. we can, so we can. So that's what I'm. Um, so it looks like my space. You then that means I can't I, do a portal, right? You know what? I think um, I ended up in like the catacombs of the space. I don't know where I am. <laughs> I'm standing on furniture currently. I <laughs> <laughs> So I just put up a uh, the gallery that I was talking about. Can you guys see it? Um, is it upstairs? I'm upstairs. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, since it's your space, you've got all your host controls. Oh, that's right. We're in my space now. Yeah. I, so I'm where good. is everybody downstairs? No, I'm upstairs. I'm right next to you. So do you see the uh, the the globe I just put up, the portal over the hot tub? Uh, it's right behind you, Donna. There you turn around. Behind me, okay. <laughs> it's look towards the sunset. Okay. But turn around. Sorry, this is this is modeling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wandering, through the modeling, wandering through the metaverse. So if you I, see me waving. Yes. So oh, okay. Like oh, yes, name. I see it. Okay. So now I just click there I'm, on the, on the you, circle. You can. Yes. Okay. So upstairs, Dan, there yeah. should be, there should be a, a portal downstairs also. Okay. There you are. Do you see me waving? I'm out on the deck. I see. I see you. Oh, Layla's here. Yay, Layla. Layla, isn't this exciting? Oh, there it is. OK. So if you click that portal. So the portal, yeah. everyone that's in the ski chalet is upstairs on the deck over the spa. But if you click that portal, and I'm going to join everybody myself. I think my computer is being extra slow because I have to run spatial through Chrome and um, my computer doesn't like Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Dan. I made it. So, so this is a free template in spatial. It took about five minutes to set this up. And all we did was link our photos to this particular gallery. And while doing that, Spatial said, would you like us to automatically put these on the walls for you? And we said, yes. Wow. And obviously you can modify, adjust, you can change anything you want, but this could be students' pictures. These could be drawings. These could be lessons. They can be anything that, that you think of, you can create and put in this gallery. Yes, Daniel and I were just talking about that the other day, like, you know, how neat it would be to be, you know, put up some of the music videos that we've done together um, or some of the there artwork. I have I have some students that do a great deal of artwork and put up their artwork in the gallery. So what a great way to be able to showcase student work. Yeah, now I see something. You've got a QR code floating in space. What is that? <laughs> So what we try what we're trying to do is make it as easy as possible for people to stay connected with us. And so when you're on your laptop or your desktop, you can use your phone and just take a picture of the QR code or scan it and it will take you to wh whatever we've got set up. And I'm not sure how we've got this QR code set up. It probably goes to a home page. It might go to our OpenSea NFT gallery where I share some of these pictures and these are just pictures i've taken while i'm running uh, wow, when beautiful. i'm paddle boarding i just enjoy photography and so i thought i'd set up a place it has nothing to do with practicing law but what i found is by 
creating these types of spaces, it connects me with other people, other human beings that share a similar, similar interest. And through those similar interests, we have conversations and through the conversations, you know, we have opportunities for each other. So that's, that's kind of why I'm doing this is I want to share my photos, but I also want to connect with other people that, you know, enjoy the same things I do. No, that's, right. that's incredible. And just um, thinking off the top of my head, wh- how could we use this in, in the education space? Um, say you have a gallery um, where students are pre- have presented their uh, final project or something, um, or a portfolio or something like that. Um, and then you could actually use a QR code to link it to um, like, a, a, um, a, like a, a quiz or an analysis form or a feedback form or something like that just create a quick Google form um, or, you know, getting, getting, just getting people's interest. Um, if they liked what they um, experienced with the space, then they can connect further. So that's, yeah, I love that you can just have a QR code floating in space. Why can't we do that in real life? <laughs> exactly. I just brought in a mirror. So oh. I'm in the, I'm in the holiday sweater. Let me, let me wave so everyone can see where I am. But if you come over and stand next to me, you can see the mirror and you can see what your avatar looks like. Oh, cool. It's kind of cool. But it's just one of many different objects that you can bring in. So, Donna, if you continue to, there you go. If you continue to rotate, you should be able to see yourself in the mirror. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and um, one thing, I don't know if we've mentioned it, but, you know, we're on this live stream now, so we have it turned off. But, um one of the features that's really great is you can turn on the microphone and you can talk to students just like you would in the classroom on a Zoom call, but it would be here in the metaverse. So um, so it's just another feature that is a, a great feature. Yeah, and you can actually exactly. broadcast, like on Zoom, There, uh, if you turn the camera on, you broadcast your face in a little circle above the avatar's head so that you can see the avatar, but you can also talk face to face. Um, which is kind of neat. The sky's the limit, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, this this has been remarkable, just kind of getting to explore this. Um, and uh, Valentina or Ivana or Layla, um, any ideas that this is sparking for you uh, of how you could use it or, or what you've experienced? Yep. Go ahead, Leila. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, so one of the questions that I had that we, we kind of started talking about, and I wanted to see if um, anybody on the panel has any ideas, um, is just in um, both digital citizenship and um, uh, safety. So what are some considerations, maybe some best practices, um, some things that you might think could be a problem? Um, what, what comes to mind? I could talk all day about this, but I would simply, <laughs> I would simply, I would simply say, <clears throat> you know, be aware that just like a Zoom, there's a time where you want to be public and a time where you want to be private. Uh, especially when you're dealing with, with uh, you know, minors or children. And you also want to make sure that you know who's at the other end of an avatar. Mm-hmm. So do your due diligence and make sure the people you're meeting with are actually people you're comfortable with standing in front of and meeting and teaching and presenting to. But uh, I think the same 
concerns, the same protocols that exist in the real world or with traditional video apply in the metaverse too. I don't think we need to overcomplicate it. We just need to make sure that um, we know who's in the room, we understand and appreciate what's being said, and we understand how to use the host tools. For example, either Dan or I can, with a click of a button, remove someone or ban somebody or silence somebody in the room. And so we don't want to be afraid to use these tools so that the experience for everybody is maximized and one, one or two bad actors or people that may not even be familiar with how, how the metaverse works don't spoil the experience for everyone. Mm -hmm. So I think prior preparation, learning these things ahead of time uh, before going live, both for the students and the teachers is probably the best way to go. It only takes 20 or 30 minutes of practice to figure this out. I think this is easier to use than Zoom, frankly. And, uh, and once you've got it set up, Follow, follow basic due diligence protocols. And I think everybody uh, can have a very safe and rewarding experience. Yeah, I think the students can teach us things <laughs> uh, exactly. because they're, to me, they're the digital natives. They're the ones who are, you know, uh, I know my 12 year old shows me something every day. <laughs> so, uh, so I think that, you know, this has so many capabilities and I know personally just for the global learning space, I'm like really excited about all the different things that um, I'll be able to do inside the metaverse and connect schools around the world, not only through Zoom, but also through the metaverse. I think it's amazing and, and be able to, you know, um, have students showcase where they are in, in the world. You know, uh, what, what does their world look like? What, what does their space look like? And so um, I'm really excited to continue learning because um, as Daniel knows, I need to continue learning. Um, but, uh, but I think it has a lot of thing. capabilities. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so uh, Ivana or, or Valentina, any thoughts about how, how this might be used or, um, you know, any of the things that we were talking about? I'd love to, um, Ivana, if you're, if you're open to it, I'd love to hear the student perspective. Um, I know it's, uh, you're, you're the only student here and we appreciate you being here. So if, if you want to share something, we'd love to hear. And there is a mute button in spatial. So you do have to unmute to speak within spatial. Uh, my, maybe she has got a problem because uh, uh, we, we were planning more students here, but they have problems with, with the uh with, with zoom yes that's yeah. uh, she has the same problem i what? had before i asked donna to send me the code uh through the whatsapp so uh, i think this can be used like for example uh when we are making uh, uh when we are talking for example in uh, in national parks in uh, we have five national parks parks in in montenegro for example that can be that students get in and that fi five national parks are on the on the screen so they have to guess uh which national park uh, it is and uh, then when he guess like the other can uh his his colleague or uh, uh someone have to say something about that national park and how to use it in in, in tourism or something we will we'll, we'll see what we can do with with all those things dan, some, yeah. dan i set up the purple uh portal and once again this is a free space that people and teachers can use in this case mm -hmm. we've set up a portal to help artists and creators stay mm -hmm. safe from a legal perspective in the metaverse mm -hmm. and if okay. teachers want to want to see what a free portal they could set this up within 10 minutes for free uh mm -hmm. and create That's their cool. own content i would suggest let's click into the purple portal real quick and just continue sure. the conversation there you want to yeah let's do it and it looks like we have a couple of students joining us in the metaverse which is cool fantastic so yeah um if so you're just, just joining us and, and you had the link from our first portal, you have to kind of go portal hopping. Um, we, we started in the um, auditorium and then we went to the ski chalet 
then we went to this gallery and then we went to we're going to this new space yeah and uh we only have a few minutes left but i think maybe we should um at the very end go back to the original room just to see uh who's still here um be great just to reconvene there so that people have a a place that they can come back to yeah that's that okay. sounds great so um i'll put that link uh i'll refresh it in the the chat um mitch so i think you would have to uh add that as a portal okie dokie so that is in the chat i think that uh this final purple portal that like i said is free this will give everyone, teachers and students, an idea of the different ways you can use this because within this portal you have video, you have space to put up large pictures, you have galleries, <laughs> and so we've got, we've got this set up with spatial audio. So the closer you walk towards a video, as you walk closer, you'll be able to hear the audio but the audio from one room will not affect the audio in the other areas in this space. And, oh. and I think what's kind of neat is just that the uh, people behind Spatial made this available for free. So anybody can grab this space and make it their own. And I think young adults enjoy the vibrant colors that are available here, as opposed to traditional lawyer conference rooms or traditional uh, speaking facilities. This is kind of fun with all the neon lights and the purple purple tone to it. I oh, see now yeah, I can hear the audio. Oh, and what and Mitch, Mitch, are all those circles down there different portals that you've already set up? Like <clears> they are, okay. they are. What we try to do is link relevant portals back to each other when it's appropriate. And the idea behind this space is to make available to creators and artists all of the different benefits that we feel this particular metaverse space offers. And then obviously, if they ha have any legal questions or if they need legal help, we make it easy for them to stay connected with us. So yeah, we did spend a little bit of time setting this up. And a little, little tip for everybody is once you figure out how to manipulate and move a picture and put it up against the wall, the easier it gets the more you do this. What we found is by putting on a headset, it allows you to come in and you're actually using your hands to literally just straighten and hang things up on the wall. So a headset makes you feel like you're in this environment and allows you to really fine tune placement of these items, although it's certainly not necessary. Oh, I love all these floating crystals. Oh my goodness, this is such yeah, a cool it's, space. It's pretty cool. I, I think I, I accidentally popped in here the day that it was launched by Spatial. And it was there was like a, um, a um, almost like a party in here where they had live music performances that people were presenting. Yes. They had um, a couple of different, uh, you know, just I'm just thinking, um, at, you know, for the David Z Foundation, this is something where we could put up all of our music videos, like Donna was talking about, and we can put together, put up our collaborated um, videos, and um, show. You know, we might even do premieres in here, um, where people can come in and kind of meet each other around the world, which could be really cool. I, I love that idea. Uh, so we just have about a minute left. Um, so thank you for putting that up. You are like reading my mind. So thanks, yeah. Mitch. Um, if you can just put that back, uh, if, if everyone just wants to go back to oh, dance, yep. whatever it's called, hi-fi meetup. Hi-fi space. <laughs> yes, just to, hi, just to hi, hi. wrap up for today. But this has been yeah. so wonderful. Every time, uh, every time I enter the metaverse, I learn something new. Um, and so thank you, Mitch, so much for You're just welcome. showing us around and uh, um, your wealth of knowledge. So. Thank you. Yes. And My thank pleasure. You, thank you so much, um, Valentina and Ivana. Uh, I think we lost her. Oh, she's still here. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here. And um, thank Layla as well. Um, 
So we just appreciate um, the interest and um, please keep sharing these ideas because I think the more people that we can get aware of what the possibilities are in education, um, the, the safer we can make it together um, because this, this technology is available. This is what I learned about Roblox. <laughs> it's available. This Kids is the same. It. So let's, let's honor that. That's one thing that I, I my, kind of my closing thought. So why don't we just go around and do some closing thoughts? Um, as a teacher, I've always believed in honoring the, our students' devices as a part of their reality. Um, my generation, we kind of see it as augmented reality, but um, it's not augmented anymore. It, it is a, a valid part of our realities um, as educators and as students. Um, and to be able to take this technology and you know have a little bit more thought leadership, um, I think is is far better than saying, "Oh no, you shouldn't do that." We're at school. Like, no, <laughs> let's do school here. <laughs> um, so, how about over to over to uh, Donna and then um, Valentina, and then we can um, uh, Ivana. I don't know if you can. I know the signal looks like it's kind of weak, but um, if you want to give any closing thoughts, and then uh, finally with Mitch. So. Um, Donna, go go for it. <laughs> yes, I just want to say to those of you who are in the chat, like I saw Afreen was here from UAE and uh, we have Frank, I'm not sure where you were tuning in from, but I want to just thank all the people that have been listening uh, just because, um, as I said, I have no problem failing in public and I don't know how to interact with you on the chat inside the, the um the live stream. So uh, I just want to say that this has so many possibilities and I'm really excited um, with Global Lighthouse to be able to uh, take this to all um, all the schools that are in Global Lighthouse Network and be able to have a hub and um, be able to bring in my partners like David Z. And so uh, I just want to say thanks so much for sharing and thanks for joining us today and I'll kick it over to Valentina. Thank you. Thank you for uh, hosting us. Thank you. I think we will we will use it a lot. Just please send me uh, the, the 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 link to what you recorded. Send me so we we can. I will share with my colleague also, Great. so they can awesome. use it. Yeah, they Fantastic. may want. Okay. Um, Ivana, are you, are you, do you have um, connectivity? Uh, uh, her, her microphone is muted. Oh, okay. Okay. Something, some, something is going on with her microphone. That's well, let me just say, I, I appreciate you being here, Ivana. Um, and it's, it's been wonderful to have you engage with this. Um, so thank you so much for being here. And then um, closing thoughts, Mitch, and then we'll, we'll uh, end for today. I think that uh, by offering a metaverse space or venue to your classrooms, you can set something like this up and have the same room all year long. So it's a virtual extension of your classroom. You can change and add things each day. You can have a lesson board. Students can come in and see what tomorrow's plan is, what their homework assignments are. You can change out and save and delete content within these spaces. And uh, Dan, I'm going to send you a link that we set up for some of our clients that takes takes a newbie, takes someone new that hasn't used Spatial before and takes them by the hand and walks them through. These are the six things you need to do to set up your Spatial account, to have a good experience. I'll send that over to you. If you want to share that with everyone on the panel, it's totally okay with me, but I think it will help. Uh, shorten the learning curve and get everybody up to speed as quickly as possible. This was fun. Thanks for including me, everyone. Thank you so much, yeah. Miss. Um, Thank you. Yeah, okay. to everybody. Thank um, thanks for joining us. Um, and please reach out. It, it, I think I can't really speak for Donna, but I think I can kind of can. Um, <laughs> but if you want to reach out and um, practice something in the metaverse, I am more than willing. Donna, are, do you feel the same you, way? You know, you know, of course, I'm I, more yeah, than willing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks so much, everybody. And uh, until next time, um, we'll see you. Ne we'll see you next month. Great. See you next month. Bye bye, everyone. See you. See you. Bye. Bye. -bye.